Yo, what's up guys, Eugene Dink here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Injustice 2 player. And this video is all about meter management. This is something that I got really good at in uh, Mortal Kombat 9 because I played a character named Quan Chi, as a lot of you may know. And uh, he was the best character in the game with meter and the worst character in the game without meter. And a lot of those skills stayed with me over the years and I've added to them and changed them and I just wanted to share a few of them with you. So my first tip, and this should be pretty obvious, is to just always know where you stand when it comes to your meter. Always know when you have a bar, when you need to build more. Uh, be aware of it as you use it, and be very aware of it um, when you're about to clash. <laughs> I've had it happen to me, I'm sure you've had it to you, where you just clash and you look at the meter and you're like, well, shit on my dick and call it anal. And then you lose because you clashed at the wrong time because you weren't watching your meter. Now, being aware of meter is uh, something you kind of have to constantly do throughout the match. And so if you're kind of in like an area like this, where you're kind of just kind of going back and forth, nothing's really happening, use that opportunity to take a look at your meter, your opponent's meter, and both health bars if you can. Just do a sweep of the screen just to see what's going on. So number two, and this is where appropriate because it won't always be a thing, but um, you know, use a little bit more projectiles or something. Uh, to keep your opponent at bay and, and build some more meter. So for example, if I'm playing like uh, even Superman in this matchup and, and I have a full screen, um, I can kind of somewhat safely throw out some fireballs and stuff like that with this, put this on. Because once Superman gets to us, especially in the Firestorm matchup, it's really hard for us to get away from his pressure. So building the meter while we can, while we're away, ensures that by the time he actually gets to us, and it more than likely will happen, that we have meter to either meter burn back three out of pressure, or push block him, or just gives us more options to escape and get back to an area where we want to be in. So my next tip would be to um, switch up some combos or your setups uh, if you need to build more meter, and kind of see what's more advantageous for you in a position where you might need to gain more meter, as opposed to do more damage. Um, and if you can do both at the same time, it's perfect. It's exactly what you want. Uh, let me show you an example of this with Firestorm. So we have this combo here we can do. So it does 509 damage. And it's hard knockdown. It's the most damaging ender. Um, but instead, we can substitute the uh, Flame Pedo for just another Molten Trap. And we can use the Molten Trap to set up an opportunity to get chip damage that will also build us more meter. So there you go. See, we've got all that damage. Uh, we got similar damage to the original combo that we did. Uh, we just get that little bit extra through chip. They can push block this, but then they're using a bar of meter while you're building back your bar. So it's still an advantageous position. Um, although this, of course, is just a Firestorm only combo, I'm sure there's combos with your characters that you can try and figure out and explore that might have this same advantageous effect for you. And my last tip would be to know your combos. Just know your combos, be able to execute them so well to the point where while you're doing a combo, you don't have to look at your character. You can do the combo, execute the combo, and also look at your... Take a look around the same way I mentioned earlier. Check out the health bars, check out check out your meter, check out your opponent's meter, uh, and just, just know that combo so well that you don't need to focus that much to do it. You can switch your focus to something else and multitask. And this is the same thing when you're getting comboed by somebody. If somebody's doing a big combo on you, uh, you do kind of want to stay a little bit of attentive because they might drop it and that might be an opportunity for you. But if they're doing a big combo, they haven't shown any signs that they're going to drop their combos, you're just sitting in the air anyways, you might as well look around and see where you stand. So just being aware at all times and using execution to make sure that you can pay attention to the entire fight as a whole. Anyways guys, I hope you found those tips uh, useful. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we'll see all you guys in the next video.